Okay, here is tutorial number four. So in the previous tutorials we made these three tiny doilies. Today we're going to show you how to make this one. This star shape. It's a three round one. Quite an easy one. Maybe the only the more difficult round is the last one. So we'll go quickly over the two first ones because they contain the basic stitches. So you start with a slip knot. This, that's your slip knot, and we will start with a chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we will slip stitch into your first chain. That's your crochet hook through your chain and pull through and I think I'm stuck yeah no okay first round is you will be crocheting 24 double crochets into your chain space chain three for your first double crochet And then we will do 23 more double crochets in your chain circle. We'll see the first ones very slowly. So double crochet is yarn over once, go through your ring, pick up your thread, yarn over, pull two, yarn over, pull two. So yarn over once, go through your ring, pick up your thread, yarn over, two, yarn over, two, and this you will be doing in a total you have 24 double crochets of so one chain three and three and 23 double crochets and by magic I have one already finished uh, to save some time. So I did already 23 double crochets here. I will do my last one here. Number 24. And I will slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning. This will end your first round. Now your second round again start with a chain 3 for your first double crochet. And a chain one for your chain space. Now you will be crocheting one double crochet on each double crochet of your previous round separated by a chain one. So one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Chain one, and as you see, the first two rounds are not that hard to make if you know some basic sti stitches. And you will be continue doing this until you reach the end. And here's another one. I will be doing my last one over here so one double crochet chain one and you will be slip stitching in your third chain from the beginning round two is finished now you will be slip stitching again in your chain space one and we will starting with a chain one and three more chains. So that's a total of chain four. And that will be this piece over here. So this will be this piece over here. Now we will do one double crochet in the next chain space. Now we will start creating this little clover 
form on top and that is chain 3 slip stitch in your first chain you have this see chain 4 again slip stitch in the same stitch where you slipped stitched before so in your very first chain chain 3 and again a slip stitch in the very first chain now here comes maybe the hardest part go through the head of your double crochet from the back to the front so this is the top go from the back to the front and do a slip stitch through the head so that will seal your little clover chain three one single crochet in the next chain space again chain three one double crochet in the next chain space and again we will be creating the clover so chain three we'll do it slowly slip stitch in your first chain chain four slip stitch in your very first chain again chain three and slip stitch in your very first chain so you'll be slip stitching actually three times in the same stitch then you will go through the head again so from back to front see you will picking up two threads and you will slip stitch through the head of your double crochet chain three one single crochet in the next chain space chain three one double crochet again we will be creating our clover Chain 3, slip stitch in the first chain, chain 4, slip stitch in the very first chain, again chain 3, slip stitch in your first chain, and slip stitch through the head, through the top of the, or the head of your double crochet, from back to the front, and chain 3, and you will keep continue doing this I'll do this again rather slowly this is maybe for all of you the hardest part chain 3 slip stitch in the first chain chain 4 slip stitch in your first chain Chain three, slip stitch again in the first chain, and slip stitch through the head or the top of your double crochet. Chain three, and single crochet in the next chain space. Chain three, and. dog hair I hope you had some fun creating the previous doilies and you had some time in exercising them
they're a good way ideal way to start crocheting those teeny tiny projects once you got the hang of it making smaller ones you can slowly build up and you can start making them the bigger doilies Okay, sorry, and it was slip stitch in your first chain, chain three. My dogs were <laughs> confusing me. And as usual, when, I, when I'm filming, they start playing. Doing crazy little stuff or, the, or begging. Okay, we'll do it one last time. Chain three. Slip stitch in your first chain. Chain four. Slip stitch. In your first chain. Chain three. Slip stitch. In your first chain. And we will slip stitch through the head from back to front in your double crochet chain three one single crochet and in the end by closing you will do a slip stitch in your first chain from the beginning and then this will be your final result they're quite nice to put on flowers because they're not so big. If you handmade flowers, nice bling center in the middle. Okay, so this was number four. I you hope you like this teeny tiny one. And stay tuned for number five. Bye, thank you all.